facing Ocamp in the game with some exceptions. So, first things first, when it comes to Hoi understanding bounce spots, uh, let me just quickly put up my little note tab here so I have all of them. Okay, so first things first, when it comes to these Harpies in particular, the best bounce spot is like, let me get this real quick, right here. So I can group them up and then hit them all, hit this all three times and I instantly kill the smalls and I just need to basic things a few times. Okay, so that's for that one. For starting the game at the red buff, the red buff one is over here. Give me a moment, let me just look through my notes. Okay, the red buff one is like this. Uh, give me a moment, it's right here somewhere. Uh, it's looking at this, and it's right here. Right here. As you can see, it hit three times on it. You want to be the one to angle this, by the way, not your mid laner. And this is important to start because it speeds up the amount of time for your mid lane. For a purple, purple is very obvious. You just go right here-ish. Give me a moment. Purple, you go like right here. Easy triple bounce. Very straightforward. Um, for, uh, this hoppy right here, this hoppy generally is a bit annoying to do by itself. Uh, the best place to actually get it is over here. Uh, right where the, I just saw the triple bounce for a moment. Uh, it's very frustrating to do this one. Um, there's one right here and one right here. Uh, generally as a note, uh, I gotta get this a little bit better because it's very frustrating to do. This one is very, very annoying by the way. Um, it is. Give me a moment. The left enemy tower. Oh, I had it there for a moment. It's like right here, and you get the hoppy in front of you. So like, wait. Come over here real quick. It'd be like this, and I hit it three times. Very annoying spot to do, honestly. Uh, you're better off just normally double bouncing it. So now I showed that side of the map in terms of the order side, and we're going to go to the right side of the map to show order side. So for a speed buff, speed buff in general, normally how you would want to do the speed buff one. Let me just double check real quick. It's like right here. Okay, so speed buff, you want to go... Uh, let me see here. Generally you want like right here-ish. I, I had it here. You want it right here, and it would hit all three. Um, it's a bit frustrating to get the center one, uh, slash it's a bit finicky at times. Um, if you're fast enough, you can get it to where, right here, and then you could drag it, and you see you can uh, hit all three. When it comes to these uh, camps right here, uh, for this XP camp, what you would do is you would want to place your actual Corsair right here and it's an easy triple bounce. I'm sorry, I messed that up slightly. Let me just double check the notes to make sure. Uh, that's not it. Um, that's Scorpion stuff. Okay, yep, right here. Okay. So it would be, as uh, you just, I, I had a promo, right here. That's the way it would be. Okay, very straightforward. Uh, these camps here, for the most part, you can just easy double bounce. You don't really need to triple bounce these. The blue buff generally is very easy to do. Uh, it's similar to the purple. I slightly messed that up, sorry. Okay, again, it sucks that I don't have infinite cooldown on this, and there's not a way to actually show this. But right here, that's where it is. Okay? That's for the blue buff. For totem of a crew, there's actually a really nice one you can do. So for totem of crew, uh, it is right. Uh, I had it for a moment. Right here. That's totem of crew. Okay. I'm gonna back teleport over the mid tower, and then we'll do the actual right the right side camps. For the most part, all the stuff I'm showing is flipped on the other side. Though the maps are not symmetrical, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So for uh, mid hoppies here, you can actually get a double bounce right here, but for the triple bounce in general, 
Uh, you have multiple socks. I, I do, Faith. I know. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it? Doing it? Oh, did I misspell Neath? Oh, God damn it. Uh, let me edit that real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me just ch make sure I change the title real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Tritch. Pause. Uh, create a dashboard real quick. Manage stream. Oh, auto corrected. Neath. There we go. Fixed. Thank you, by the way, Waffles, for letting me know that. Okay. So. <coughs> sorry about that. When it comes to uh, the mid camp here, the best way to have it is. Let me just confirm. Let me try and do this while also. Mm, that's red. Uh, that's the other side mid camps. Okay, so the best way to do mid camps here is actually like this, and you gotta like push it a bit more towards it. Uh, generally, it's better to have someone on the actual your team to do this because normally you can only get two bounces here unless someone is angling them here. That's just something to note. You can It's very difficult to get three bounces on this camp. You can do it, it's just you need generally another person to help you. This camp here you can do with three bounces. Specifically, it's right here. Right here. Right here is the three bounces. Very straightforward. Uh, when it comes to oracles, there's not a full way to do oracles. Oracles generally have only a two bounce, which would be you hit them and like you bounce them off like this. Um, there is a possible three bounce, which is if you hit it like this, uh, where you can see the intersection right here. Uh, do, 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 do. I can move a bit forward here. So like, what if they were right here where my basics are? Um, you could actually get a trick bounce like this. That's just something you know. It's you, unless you have someone taking this, it's impossible to get a triple bounce on these oracles. Um. Now we're going to go over the other side real quick. The other side when it comes to the purple buff. Same thing as the other side. It's difficult to do by the way again. When it comes to just being by yourself. You don't have infinite cooldowns. Okay. Right here. That's the triple bounce. There we go. When it comes to this red buff. Let's wait for my healing. When it comes with this red buff, it's generally this one right here. Okay, you get triple bounce on that. So if you're going, if you're invading the enemy hoppies here, uh, the angle you would want to go at is like about here. But if you aren't, your best bet doing these hoppies is generally, if I remember correctly, it's, let me get this angle correctly. This is frustrating to do a little bit. Uh, generally, what you do is you basic it. I don't want to die to these. I'm going to quickly back and then teleport over. I'll, make the I'll buy some lift steel as well, so I don't have to worry about this part. Okay, so here when it comes to the actual back camps over here, if you're coming in from the other angle, uh, also I might as well talk about this real quick when it comes to the scorpions while I'm doing this. Um, there's no triple bounce for these scorpions. There is a potential bounce for when it comes to gold fury. There's a double bounce by the way just to show that. But for the actual they triple bounce on gold fury when it does spawn, double checking the notes real quick. There's a triple bounce directly if you're taking it, like if you have a teammate here, right here. 
specifically if uh, you angle it a bit more like this. Right where this corner is, if the Gold Fury is right here, you can get a triple bounce. And it's the same thing on both sides here. Uh, funnily enough, though, um, generally it's only really good right uh, if you have to have like a certain amount of distance away from it. Right here is the only place, and you need someone else tanking this right there. Okay. Lastly, when it, uh, just to show this back camp again, um, when it comes to this back camp, if you're leaving this base here, okay, you're like do to do to do, do. Um, right. I had it for a moment. Right here. Right here is where you want it. That triple bounce, that's how you do those quickly. Um, where, since this is already 21 minutes in the game, um, you could actually instant clear this really fast when you hit like 8 or 9. And you don't even have to like, you might need one auto attack and you can instantly do it. When it comes to um, Chaos Side Scorpion, um, the best triple bounce is actually right here. Again, you would need someone tanking for the most part. I, I had it for the moment. It, it's a bit finicky here. A lot of these are really finicky because of how angles work. But generally, it's like right here. You would want, you would want some if you could back up a bit. You would honestly want someone to tank it like right here because of how big the actual scorpion is. You actually hit it three times. Okay. Uh, next thing to talk about, uh, I already mentioned about all that other stuff. I'm gonna talk about the other side scorpions. They're very easy to do. Um. There is a spot right here. Easy triple bounce right here. And then for this side, it's right here when my mind comes back up. Okay? Right here. Easy triple bounce. Um, when it comes to uh, after you do this greater scorpion, um, something to note is that this right here counts as a wall until fire giant spawns. So you could actually bounce this off of it. Uh, but once Scorpion dies and Five Giant spawns in here, you can't do this anymore. It will just go straight through. It doesn't care. Uh, it's very weird how this works, but it's probably just like it's a placeholder slash like a, a way that way you can't like stay in Five Giant when it spawns. On um, Pyromancer, if you're fighting Pyromancer, there's a spot right here to do it. Easy triple bounce. And then same thing over here for the other side. Um... So that's in terms of those triple bounces. Um, when it comes to enemy blue buff, because I still need to do enemy blues, back camps, and speed. Uh, enemy blue buff is right here. Easy triple bounce. Uh, obviously, again, I mentioned about these guys. These guys are straight. You can do a double bounce on them. If you want a triple bounce, technically there's a we like one possible over here-ish. But you, don't, you wouldn't even really need that because of how weak those camps are. When it comes to this side over here, what you can do is right here. Nice easy one. Unlike uh, that side camp over here, this one's actually a lot easier to do. And then for the speed buff on this side, you generally want to do, if I remember correctly, it's like this. Yeah, that's how you get the triple bounce on this. Uh, there's actually more triple bounces on this side of the map than that side of the map. Hoi actually favors Chaos side, which is kind of unique in the regard because some characters, like, normally side, the side doesn't matter. But for Hoi's case, there is. Um, the last thing I actually want to talk about while on this map real quick, I'm going to just teleport over to my tower real quick, is I want to showcase just cool little cool things because I was doing this while I was testing out all the Hoi bounces and such, is right here. There's a spot you can hide into. Um, specifically, some characters some characters can do this depending on their model. Um, almost impo it's impossible to actually see them from time to time unless their idle animation does it. A um, few examples that I know of off the top of my head that I've tested so far is Apollo can ha full hardness. Cupid you have to face this way so he doesn't so you actually can't be seen by the wings. A um, few other cool little spots with that, but that's just something to talk about real quick. Um, <laughs> And the, the, the other two spots I want to talk about is one's right here. In a similar sense. This was not this one was not discovered by me. This was discovered by my friend Faith. Um, she was the one that discovered this. This is actually kind of bullshit, but kind of cool. Um, again, you could actually... From something to note, by the way, this is only on order side of the map. You cannot do this on chaos side. Um, and then similarly on this side, this 
part of this uh, order side is you can hide if you're a jungler or something you can hide right here and this is how he obviously he's a bit bigger hitbox but like if you're a rantask or something you could hide straight in here and he won't be spotted um this is overall this is just talking about Hoey in general uh does anyone have any questions in chat at the moment while i um think about if i'm missing anything off the top of my head at the moment but i think i showed everything off in terms of the Hoey stuff um yeah this should be good uh Hoey. oh actually, i actually have to continue talking about Hoey, but we're in the pick him that um I mentioned already about how like he doesn't have the best time. He 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 is better against character comps that want to crit a lot, um, particularly if um, they have a Mercury or something. So as long as you can like build like maybe Berserkers or something like a little bit of physical defense, so he doesn't one hit crit you. Um, you can actually survive for a decently long time against them because uh, well you actually you actually have a much more higher fighting chance. Um, he's okay in the Izanami, especially because the Maw can spot where he is, where she is, etc. But not the strongest. Um, majority of the time when you want to pick Hoi, you want to fight him into a lack of mobility characters. Specifically people who don't have leaps. So, uh, or like have very slow dashes or just no mobility whatsoever. Because you can mock them, you can jump on them, and then place the ult where they're going and you can make them fight you. Oh yeah, of course I'm gonna give credit. I don't plagiarize faith. Why the hell would I do that? That's just rude. Uh, the, by the way, there is also a triple bounce right here on these actual big guys, but you need someone to tank. But the other one is better than the first one I showed you. Um, when when don't you pick Hoi? Hoi has a hard time when it comes to a lot of the current like meta ADCs because he doesn't. While he can box a lot of them, they either have some sort of attack speed sim, some sort of way to keep them alive long enough and stall out his ultimate, or they just outburst him enough. Um, something to note, and I'm actually going to show this over here, I'm going to teleport over to this tower real quick, is the entire dual lane side of the map, you can't really triple bounce. Um, then we'll head over real quick. He does His best split when it comes to double bounces is like right here. He doesn't. He can't really do tri any triple bounces. Uh, he can do some triple like bounces when it comes to the jungle, uh, which is actually not the worst thing in the world if you're trying to contest this stuff. Um, if the tower was here, he does have an okay triple bounce, which would be bounce, bounce, bounce. Um, but for the most part, it's too wide, and you'll notice here that it doesn't even get to this wall. There's never a case when it comes to the side of the map that you can do that on. When it comes to the middle part of the map, there was a little bit more, but again, it's generally too wide and you can't do it fully. Um, there's actually an interesting bounce over here. Where, it, uh, I, I messed that up, sorry. You can actually bounce, bounce, and then come it back. So this is actually very useful if you're fighting someone. And like, this one in front of you, like that comes in from the side, you can do, uh, I think it, I had it here for a moment. Oh, I had it. There you go. You could do something like that and like hit someone over here, especially if they're trying to escape or dash something. It's just something that's cool to note. You can that is an option for the middle lane. Um, not much in terms of not much else in terms of the middle except for like the choke points you can obviously hold. If the tower is here, there's a tower bounce like boom, boom, boom. Um, overall though, again, very, very situational character when it comes to how his angles have to be. Uh, Hoey's really ever changing when it comes to, he has to manipulate his fights to walls and such to, to his advantage more than on her does. Um, other than that, um, I don't think there's anything else to talk about at the moment when it comes to Hoey. Uh, if need be, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, this will be up on YouTube later if you haven't seen the full thing. Um, YouTube will be in the Twitch, uh, on the Twitch channel and if need be, I'll also provide it and later on in the chat as well um we're gonna quickly just go over the items because i can actually show the items better now in terms of the builds we'll go into a quick little practicing and then we're gonna switch over the knee 